Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's webinar. I'm Megan Twentyman, the brand manager here at Soft Solutions. And today's webinar is looking at the 3CX marketing resources, where you find them, how you use them, and what we can help you with. Um, on the webinar today, I've got Jordan, who's our technical specialist. Just giving everyone a wave. <laughs> um, so Jordan will be around for the Q&A at the end as well. Um, Jordan runs our technical trainings for us um, as well. So I believe everybody can hear us loud and clear. Um, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, feel free, free to throw those in or pop them in the chat. Um, and we will address those right at the end of the presentation. So once again, thanks for joining us today and let's get started. So agenda for today, we're going to have a look at the 3CX partner portal resources, um, also talk about our soft solutions resources that you can take advantage of, um, a quick plug of our upcoming technical trainings, and then we'll wrap up with the Q&A. We'll stick to our bite size format um, and hopefully give you some valuable information that you can use in your marketing efforts. All right, so a lot of people don't realize that the marketing kit from 3CX hides away in your partner portal. And the partner portal from 3CX was updated um, towards the end of last year. Um, you can still get back to the old version, but I'm getting used to the new version now and I think it's um, much more user friendly. Um, so to access your resources, you literally log into your partner portal. You navigate to the downloads section. I've got a couple of little screenshots here. Um, and then you select the English marketing kit unless you are gifted in other languages or need other languages. Um, and it takes you to an online partner marketing kit. It used to download a massive big zip file. Um, so now it actually takes you to an online page um, and that's where you can download all the files from. So we're actually going to jump across to the partner portal. Um, so I have a dummy partner portal set up for um, soft solutions. So strangely enough, there's no sales or licenses in there apart from the odd trial. Um, but this is the partner portal just on the home page there. You can see that we've got this set up as a training account. Um, you see your partner levels, all that sort of stuff when you log in. So where we're coming down to is the downloads. So within the downloads, this is where you can actually download your 3CX apps, your SBC, the Core Flow Designer, all the bits and pieces that you need to access. And then just under here is where the marketing and sales kit sits. So obviously the English one is the one we're looking at today. When you click there, it brings you straight through to here, which I prepared earlier and have open. Um, so this is the online marketing kit from 3CX. There's a lot of links and resources here which are very, very useful. Um, so they run their own sales webinars, very similar to my bite-sized webinars. Um, there's links here to things like live chat, Facebook integration, et cetera, et cetera. So great way to find resources quickly because I know navigating around the 3CX website sometimes can be challenging if you don't know where to look. Um, the resources are amazing and there's a lot of information. It's just a matter of knowing where to look. And I've been doing it for quite a long time. Um, so I'm pretty good at finding those links and information for people. So when you keep scrolling, you run into this piece here, which is the useful content. Um, so there's artwork. I'm not going to show you the artwork. This is zip files that you can download yourselves and have a look at. Um, so it has the correct 3CX logos and the color schemes. Um, I will show you the roll-up banner in a moment. It also has production screenshots. So that's really useful when you want to show a customer what something looks like, um, use it on your website, those types of things. There's a Word document which has some pre-scripted text for web content. So it's a lot of the web content that you see on the 3CX website, um, but it's there in text form. So you can actually create your own pages. What I want to focus on today is the sales content and the battle sheets. Um, the other links here to the right actually link through to useful tools as well. So the sales content is all PDF files, as are the battle sheets. There are more battle sheets coming soon. I know, for example, they're working on one against 8x8. Eight eight. Um, but these are really tools to help you navigate those conversations. So I'm just going to zip over to my PDF solution here. I use um, Kofax's Power PDF product. Um, and I've actually got all of these files open so that I can show you what they look like, what's in them, um, and just a quick rundown. So first one off the um, 
rank there is a presentation about 3CX as a company. You know, this is based off a of PowerPoint, which has been sent to PDF, um, but it gives you some great statistics about installations, the number of countries, their global offices, um, meet the team. Um, these are the people that we deal with. Most people are familiar with Nick Galea, who is the uh, CTO and founder, and Stefan, who's the CEO. Um, Natasha is Yomez's boss and Sebastian's boss, um, based in Cyprus as well, the sales manager. Um, so the presentation takes you through about 3CX, what they believe in, those types of things. A useful background um, piece of information to use with your customers. Then we zip into the communication system document. This starts to actually talk about what 3CX is and what it does. This is more your customer facing presentation um, and the thing is with these PDF files you can take bits from everywhere and share that information and use that information to sell with your customers. Um, it talks about what 3CX is, how it's available, um, walks you through all the key pieces of 3CX. I'm not going to go through every presentation, this is more just a guide on what you can find and where. This tool here the 3CX Guide to Sales Outreach is one of my new favorites along with the How to Sell that we'll look at next. So this talks about um, the selling process, how it all works, how to build your database. It's giving you some really key statistics on how to use sales. A lot of this information you will know, um, but it's in a presentation form. It helps with enabling you to be able to sell via email or social selling um, and even to be doing those calls and that type of thing. It gives you things to focus on. So great for new people that are new to 3CX to have a look through this. You can see it's a 26 page document, so I'm not gonna keep going, but there's a lot of valuable data within this document. This how to sell guide um, is a fairly new um, presentation from 3CX, um, but it helps you actually step through the sales process um, with um, your customers and great for new sales team members. Um, so it's talking about understanding your customer's decision process, it's talking about what their requirements are and making sure that 3CX meets all of those requirements how to design that system, what do you need, how do you need to work on that, what do you need to think about, all tools that are really useful. For those partners that have been selling 3CX for a long time, this is not new information, it's just put together in a really nice presentation. Great for when you have new team members coming on, it's even talking about the quoting process and those types of things, talking about a demo, all those things that we know sell 3CX. A great presentation. Um, the Partner Reports Guide, this has been around for a couple of years now, um, and I know I share it with partners on a very regular basis. Um, this actually steps you through all of the reports that are available in 3CX, what the data is that those reports give you. It's a great one to share with customers that are hot on reporting, whether they have a call center or are just going to operate call queues, those types of things. Um, it gives you some power to show the power of the reporting functionality that is available in 3CX. And of course you can output those reports in the different formats. Um, most people like to pull out a CSV because you can manipulate the data, um, but it has the graphs and those types of things as well. But I actually use this myself as a reference point just purely because it gives me the ability to be able to find data that I need to point people to the right report because there's so many of them. So now we're going to move into the comparison charts. Um, this one I'm just going to zoom up a bit because it's a little bit hard to see. It's a big long document. This one's a particular favourite because this is not so much a um, direct head-on-head -head comparison. It's how 3CX and Microsoft Teams can integrate and work together. It does talk about the limitations of Microsoft Teams, but then it talks about how combining 3CX with Teams adds those features and functionalities. So as you know, that's a huge feature of version 18 in the Enterprise Edition. So it's a great tool when people are already using Teams and looking at changing their phone system. It allows you to have that conversation about how 3CX will work and integrate with it.
There is a comparison to Yaster, um, so this gives you some high level information that you can walk through with your customers um, and it's again it's it's a basis tool tool for a conversation that you can share with your customers. Uh, Mitel, same scenario, um, again a great document, high level overview, gives you some tools and a conversation starter. Ring Central, same thing. And as I said, we are expecting more of those to become available very soon. Um, I mentioned earlier the roll up banner. So this is if you want to have a banner in your reception area and an event, those types of things. I'm just going to zoom that in a little bit for you. So it's all pre-prepared. Obviously, we can help you to customize this as well and then you would get it printed with your print firm. It looks at all the major features. I know some of our partners um, are not really keen on having the free for one year on there, um, but it is again a conversation opener. You can talk about the limitations of the standard edition, which is still a great PBX for those really small customers, but obviously your focus is on selling the pro and um, enterprise solutions. Um, but again, a great tool um, that is there and available. So as I said, the other things that are available, and I'll just zoom back into Chrome just so that we can have a quick look there again, um, is the logos, is the production screenshots. They're all useful pieces of information to download and work with. So we're just going to pop back into my slideshow here. Okay. So Soft Solutions Resources, um, me, um, I'm your brand manager, I've got knowledge and expertise, I work with our own in-house marketing team, um, as well as I'm pretty handy at manipulating documentation through PDF solutions and those types of things. So if you've got an opportunity for marketing, feel free to reach out via phone or email um, so we can have a chat and see how I can assist you further. Um, happy to always proofread and look at um, documentation. Um, we of course have our regular content like our newsletters so um, you know fairly important stuff pops up in the weekly more the events are there we have our VoIP monthly hopefully everybody got the monthly update um, yesterday um, and then we have blog posts on our blog on our website as well um, we can assist you with customized content um, events um, we can help you with merchandise for events um, and you know we're open to any other ideas that you have as well. Case studies, case studies sell products. Um, we are always looking for new 3CX case studies. Whoops, what's happened there? Just bear with me a second, sorry. It looks like it's just popped off my slideshow. Um, I think it's back, I think it's back, Megan. Cool. It's back, fantastic. Um, it's just dropped off there for me. Um, let me just see if I can get that back. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, it just dropped off for me. Um, it's taken me out of presenter mode, so I can't keep moving. Um, so going back to our case studies, we're always looking for these. Um, if you can bring us a great case study, and it doesn't need to be a huge license, just a great case study about a great opportunity, um, we'll take that and run with that. We can get case studies done here locally. Um, if it's a big enough opportunity, so 64 simultaneous call or above, um, 3CX are always looking for global case studies as well. And I've thrown in there, um, if we get a case study from you, we'll shout to your team a pizza lunch um, or something similar. Um, we really want those case studies because it helps us all to sell 3CX. So um, really, really important. Um, so do reach out to me directly if you've got any opportunities with great stories. And it can be just as simple as doing something a little bit differently with 3CX. So just to touch on um, upcoming trainings, um, we have technical trainings coming up. Our basic technical training, we just held one yesterday, um, which was sold out, and I'm pleased to report we had a 100% pass rate again, um, which is fantastic. Our next one's coming up on the 6th of April. That's already sold out as well. Um, I am taking expressions of interest. So if you've got people waiting to do the basic technical training, do reach out to me and I'll pop you on the list to keep you updated. 
completed. We have just opened bookings for our intermediate technical training in May. This is a very limited um, event, it is still online. Um, but those are available, it went out in our um, VoIP newsletter and our weekly newsletter and spots will sell out. Again, if you miss a spot, reach out to me, I'll make sure you're on my list um, and I do personally reach out to anybody that's done any of our prior training courses as well. Um, we're just about to confirm a date for advanced technical training in June as well. With that one, we tend to start sending invites out personally to those that have passed intermediate with us and then if there's still spaces available, we will advertise that more widely. Again, if you're waiting to do advanced and you've got the basic and intermediate, please do reach out to me um, because I can make sure you're on my list and that you don't miss out. So um, we run each of the trainings once per quarter um, and sometimes more, um, but we do have to balance um, Jordan's time. It's quite an effort to do those presentations um, and he's doing a great job at that. Um, as I said, stay tuned to our communications. Um, our monthly newsletter is very important. It's a wrap up, it has new information every time. Um, our weekly newsletter, our LinkedIn VoIP group on um, LinkedIn is where I post everything first. So if you're not a member of that, um, you can connect or ask to be connected via our VoIP newsletter at the bottom of it. Um, or reach out to me directly and I can send you the link. If you're already connected to me, just pop me a message on LinkedIn and I can send you a personal invite as well. And that brings us to the end for today. So thank you so much for your attendance. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Um, and Jordan's gonna jump back on and let me know if there's any questions that have come in, in the chat or questions section there. Um, Anything there, Jordan? Um, nothing just yet. So um, nothing, nothing means yet. That, so means that I've obviously covered everything off nicely for you. Um, but if you think of something after this, and we will just uh, stay on the line for a moment or two, if you have any questions, you have any opportunities, do reach out to me. Um, my email is megan at softsoul.co.nz. Um, if you ever forget, it's always voip at softsoul.co.nz. It will get through to me as well um, because we really want to assist you with your marketing efforts. You know, um, it's always a good time to think about refreshing your website as well. As you know, the 3CX website has undergone some mass massive changes in the last 18 months in preparation for version 18 and then when version 18 was launched as well. So, um, you know, it's a good time to look at what you're projecting to your potential new customers and see if there's anything that needs a refresh or needs some um, attention there as well. No questions there, Jordan? Nothing, nothing has come through. Awesome. All right. So that just leaves me with um, thank you for your attendance today. It is greatly appreciated. We hope you got some useful information. The webinar has been recorded. So if you're a little late joining, you will get a copy of the video link. Um, we also share it up to our YouTube as well. But thank you, everybody, and have a great day. Cheers, everyone.